Okay, number 18b. So we're going to uh, sketch this parabola. First, we're going to ignore the, the inequality here, the y equals. We're just, I'm sorry, y is greater than. We're just going to treat this as if it's a y equals. And again, I can find the vertex. Um, but at this point, maybe I'm, I'm putting up a little bit too much effort here, here. Really, what I'm interested in is where is this equal to zero? In other words, I'd like to find the x-intercepts of this and use that to help me sketch this. So factors of 8, that's sum to negative 9, so it's going to be negative 8 x minus 1. So my answers here are going to be 8 and 1. And so they're going to be out here, 8 and 1. And this is a parabola that opens up, so my, my graph is going to look something like this, okay? Uh, except that here, notice it's not or equal to. So what's going to happen here is this thing's going to come down and it's going to be a dotted line. Now I'm not entirely sure how far down it comes because I didn't, okay, I didn't uh, find the vertex. But that's okay. I mean, this gives you a rough idea of where it's supposed to be at. I could have found the vertex by completing the square, okay? I notice here that my y-intercept is going to be 8. And now I take a good look at this y is greater than. Now, I could either do this by looking at a vertical line through the, the vertex, the axis of symmetry, or just consider the, the y-axis here. I want y to be greater than this function. Now, remember this, I, I can put any value I want in here for x. So let's put 0 in here, make this the y-intercept. I want y to be greater, when x is equal to 0, I want it to be greater than 8. That means I'm shading above. And if I'm shading above here, I'm going to shade above the whole parabola. So it's going to look like this. Dotted line right there, and I'm going to shade above the dotted line, so what really looks like in, uh, it looks like it's inside the parabola. 